Hey everyone, I'm gonna do numbers eight and nine together because they're, they've got the same set of information. So let's look at these two multiple choice questions. So data on the number of powerboat registrations in Florida and the number of manatee deaths in Florida for 31 randomly selected years was used to produce the following computer output. All conditions for inference are met. Um, they put this because we can actually run hypothesis tests off of the slope of the regression line. We don't cover that in this class, but it definitely, it's actually a pretty cool topic. Okay, so let me erase that part. And then I see, well, let me get a different highlighter color. I like this peach one. Uh, I see my, I have a numerical variable, the number of powerboat registrations in Florida. And then I have another numerical variable, number of manatee deaths. And then I see my sample size here. So I'm just gonna take notes on the side. So this is definitely gonna be a regression equation or a regression problem. So it's a chapter 12 problem. And I know that because I have my two numerical variables, right? Anytime we have two numerical variables, we're looking at regression at least in this class. Again, once you go out into the larger stats world, there's a lot of stuff out there that you can do with two numerical variables. And I'm gonna keep track of my sample size, it's 31. And since we're not dealing with any of the inference, any of the hypothesis tests and confidence intervals, we don't use these numbers in this class, but we definitely could. Um, these numbers here are p-values, these numbers here are test statistics. But the ones we're interested in are right here. So this is gonna be, this one up here is our y-intercept. Right, this one here is our slope. Here is our explanatory variable or our independent variable, our x variable. And then we also sometimes we use the r squared number. It just depends on what they're gonna ask us. So let's let's read this question this question. The estimate for the population regression line is okay, well if I want my regression line, that's gonna be y hat equals some a plus bx. And then we're going to get those values right off of the mini tab table. So there's my A value of negative 40.461 plus, okay, and my B value is right below it. It looks like it's about, I'm going to just round that to 0.125. All right. And now instead of Y and X, let me go ahead and write my, my variables in context. So this is manatee deaths. So I'll just put manatee deaths which is never fun, um, is, I'm gonna put this over here because I'm gonna run out of room, negative 40.461 plus 0.125, and what was X? X was the powerboat registrations. All right, so this problem is saying, let me just change pen colors again. If you know how many powerboat registrations were made, I can predict how many deaths of these manatees are gonna be. But there are my two values. So let's start narrowing this down. So I can see right out the gate, none of these numbers are correct. So I could get rid of B and C. And then you can see here that we've got our Y, both A and D have the correct Y intercept, but they do differ on their slopes. And you can see this one down here, D is the correct slope. So there's my answer, okay? And the next question says, what is the value of the correlation coefficient? Well, in a mini tab output, and that's what this whole thing is, there is a program called mini tab. I wanna say last time I checked, it's like $1,000. It's way too much um, to ask. I don't ask students to buy it because it's not worth it. So I have it and the school has it, but um, in a mini tab output, we can get our correlation value from our R squared. So let's go write this out. So R squared is gonna be 89.7%. So I'm gonna write that as a decimal. That's gonna be 0.897. And what I wanna do is I wanna take the square root of that number. So I'm gonna square root both sides of that equation. But when you square root both sides, if you remember from your math days, this could be either a positive or negative because Positive numbers square to positive numbers, but negative numbers also square to positive numbers. So let me take the square root. I'm gonna to go to my app. Let's go ahead and do the square root of 0.897. Oops, I don't need that parentheses on here. I forget what the app, it's a little different. So we've got about 0.947. All right, so my correlation is either gonna be positive 0.947 or negative 0.947. I have to decide. And how we do this uh, if you have the raw data, you could look at the, the actual graph and say, hey, does it have a positive or negative relationship? But we don't have the raw data. But what we do have is the slope up here. And you can see that the slope is positive. So because the slope is positive, that means R is positive. 
those go in tandem. So if the slope's negative, your R value is negative. If your slope's positive, your R value is positive. So because our slope value is positive, I'm going to use R being 0.947. All right. 